that. Before I decided to do this, I did a lot of research on forums and Facebook groups. Other people have had their teeth done overseas. Now, stepping back two years ago, I got my teeth assessed in uh, Australia in the middle of Sydney and very expensive just to get a few teeth done. So what I decided to do is, okay, we're going to Bali, let's see if we can get them done over there. So here's my chance to have a look and see if it's going to pull off. And um, what are you getting done? Okay, so what I'm getting done is veneers, awesome veneers on the top. Yeah, look at that. You can see my teeth here, it's like an angle. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to exaggerate your mouth in any way for me to see that. <laughs> so what I did before I left, I went, okay, I Googled every single place in Bali that does teeth. And I rated them on a scale of one to five, basically. And I think I come across about seven or eight different places. What struck me about the place I'm going to go today is the fact that they do all their stuff on site. And there's a German guy that has all the awesome equipment in the middle of Bali. So you basically keep getting cheap prices, but with A grade results. Now, I've seen on other places and have a look at them too, and, and email exchange backwards and forwards. But these guys, which just seem to be on the ball, tell me exactly how things were going to be going to happen and what the next process would be, and again, get price. So I felt comfortable to do it. So, we're in Bali for nearly two weeks on a medical holiday, I suppose you could say. So <laughs> we can, for the price we would have got it done in Australia, we can enjoy two weeks in another country, five-star resort, most places we're gonna stay, and I'm getting my teeth done. So, they're gonna take about, about five days to do this, five business days to get the actual teeth done, made and put onto my mouth. So it's going to require three consultations. The first one's going to be an assessment today, take some x-rays and such like that, get a bit of an outline of what in my, I suppose what my expectations are. Uh, choose the whiting for my teeth, sorry, the white grade. Sort out how many that I need to have done. Make a mould and all that sort of thing so they can actually go and get them made. Then we'll come back at the end of the week and get them all stuck on. So we're going to jump in the car soon and then go down to Twitter and see how it Hi, I'm post um, day one. Day one. There's, there's actually there's only two consultations, day one and day five. So they actually make the teeth during the week. You can see my mouth's totally, totally blown up. Uh, focused on my mouth. Look at that. I can hardly, I can't even feel it. So what have they done? They've um, removed six teeth across the top and just left little pegs, four along the bottom, and then they've. Before they got rid of all my teeth, they took an impression of the bottom ones and the top ones. And then they're the corner make falsies or crowns they go on. See there? So what's gonna happen is I'll come back on Friday with my brand new teeth all aligned the right way. So that's where we're at. But overall they were really professional. Like he had the German doctor come in and just double check everything was gonna be right, tell you how it's gonna work. Then the Balinese dentists were super good, better than any dentist I've dealt with on that level in Australia. Come in and actually do the jobs, and the nurses that helped out the dentist, A1, they knew exactly what to do every step of the way. So I'm really impressed so far. How are you? How are you thinking of the whole process? I think it's all right. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. I'm talking like a, a good little mouth syndrome. <laughs> but oh wait, this is going to. They did a lot of cutting on my gums to be able to make the new ones fit. And tell you what, when this drugs wear off, I'm gonna be reaching for them strong ones. Let's hope they're strong enough. <laughs> I asked for extra strong ones and they just laughed. <laughs> anyway, see how we go on Friday. I get new teeth today. Really looking forward to my new ones. These ones are rough as guts. They cut my tongue. They're not smooth at all. You one's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna be like a Hollywood actor. Mm. I'm fine. Are you excited? So has it been hard to eat with it's the plastic ones? It's been really hard to eat with the plastic ones on because you just can't put any pressure on them. You don't know if it's gonna snap off or dislodge. And the last thing we'll do is take an hour trip there and back to get to the dentist just to be able to get the glue back in. An hour and I've got to be there, so I'm a little bit nervous. Um, Although I am looking forward to getting it done and all fixed and completed. Finally, after 20, 30 years of having a crooked smile, I'm going to have a straight smile again. Okay. Awesome. 
They look good. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> this is so I was shaking. I was sitting there going, oh. I'm so good. <laughs> All right, just finished getting my new TV installed. Installed? <laughs> I said it's stalled because I'm having a bit of a trouble talking the right way. Now I'd imagine this is normal, but I've got like a little bit of a pronunciation thing happening at the moment. <laughs> the teeth look great, by the way. I love them. They are perfectly how I want them to be. They are all there, they're straight, I can bite properly. They spend so much time making sure they're right for me. Of the issue that they did have with my teeth, because I've had to have um, root canal before and pegs put right up into my jaw they had to make a bit thicker on the front so at the moment I'm just getting used to the thickness of the teeth uh, and therefore this pronunciation issue that I'm having but afterwards I fix with after I start practicing talking again I won't have a problem <laughs> it's a bit of a funny thing at the moment um, but I love it it's really good that was so professional from start to finish the inside out back to front all their nurses knew exactly what they're doing the doctor knew exactly what he was doing um, it was great. The process is perfect and I couldn't be happier. So well worth the investment. So if you want something to hold on to, gotta find it first. But here I am, cause I've been laying under palm trees with